images. And I would like for you, as a group, to look at these images. Okay, I'll hand it out to you. <laughs> and you're going to talk about the questions on this little sheet. Okay. Talk about the situations on these images. And you'll have three minutes to talk about these questions. each other? Sorry. To interrupt? Would it be appropriate to interrupt? No. No? No? <laughs> Maybe I don't understand. Okay, well, <laughs> what, if, what if you're talking and I suddenly say, wait uh -huh. a second, <laughs> is that appropriate? If you're talking to your friend, what do you think, Lise? I think um, it's colleagues. Colleagues, okay. Mm -hmm. And do you think yeah. it's okay? Is it okay to interrupt a colleague? No. No? Okay. Never? It's what do you think, Do You think yes? Maybe yeah. if we have to go to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if something if something comes up, maybe. Because mm. it's your friends. Yeah. So. It's not you. You, you can do that. I mean, you have to go. Yeah, sorry, I have to go. <laughs> so you just tell them. Yeah, okay, so Carlos, um, what about B? What kind of situation is this? They are in school. He's a teacher, um, probably, or conference, or something like that. Okay, would you think it would be appropriate for the student to interrupt the teacher? Mm. If they have a question, I'm probably. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but would they do it the same way as a child, uh, as, a, as a friend to a friend? No, it's not. It's different. You have to write your hand and say, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's different between A and B? Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, 
Petra, what about D? D? Mm -hmm. uh, those are probably colleagues at work. Mm -hmm. And um, how would they interact if they needed to interrupt? Would that be okay? Mm, I guess so. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the person needs to know something. Okay. What would they say? Oh, can you please explain this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, would, it, would that be a different way to interrupt from yes. friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and what about in your cultures? Do you have a different way to interrupt between friends or between um, a child and a teacher and between like business people? Yeah, yeah I think so. Mm -hmm. It's really different. It's if really you uh, interrupt a friend, it's more uh, warmly. Um, you can uh, interrupt easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you are, uh, are in, in uh, business, um, it's, uh, you have to be more polite. polite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, polite. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's different in France than in America? I think because uh, for teacher, uh, here uh, you have a, a relation more warmly, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you think, Anna? Have you noticed a difference between interrupting here and in the Czech Republic? I think it's very similar, maybe for a teacher and children at school, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Because <coughs> we have informal language yeah. <laughs> if you speak to older people mm -hmm. so we speak different but it's kind of do you think it's because of culture that it's different or because of the setting or the because relationship of, because of setting okay okay yeah. Petra, do you agree yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But i think it's gonna be like cultural too yeah. okay what would you think is different Culturally, um, the teachers are not like friendly. Okay, okay. In other countries, <laughs> maybe teachers not wouldn't. that much. So, I don't know. Would you be more scared to interrupt your teacher in your home country? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, because they might get mad at you. Or? I don't know. It's just like I don't know. Was that explaining the friendship? <laughs> Friendship is different. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe more formal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's more like formal. And I don't know if you always need to like mm -hmm. do this thing with your hand. Raise here. your hand. You do. Um. Yeah. When you're younger, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you do that. Like, yeah. High school. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe in high school. But like this setting. Is this very formal? No, not, not so much. No? <laughs> yeah, well, today we're talking about interruptions and <laughs> the different levels of formality as well for when to interrupt. So um, we're going to listen to two conversations with a British English accent. So be ready to hear a different pronunciation. But there are similarities, of course, with American and British English that you can hear. And um, let's see. The first time you listen, I would like for you to complete this worksheet with the listening. And you will um, write down who is speaking, the main speaker, um, what are they talking about, the main idea of what they're saying. Um, and that will be for the first recording and the second recording. So just two questions. Really general overview. Just. Let me know if you have questions about it.
Track 56. One. So, anyway, I was late for work, and I was running down the street. Just a second. Don't you usually cycle to work? Usually, yes, but my bike had a puncture. Oh. Anyway, as I was running, I noticed that people were smiling at me all the time, but I didn't think anything of it, and I just smiled back. And then I saw two people pointing at my boots. Hang on, didn't you think it was a bit odd that so many people were smiling at you? Well, yes, but I was in a rush, so I didn't think too much about it. <laughs> but then I looked down and noticed I'd got two different boots on, one brown and one black. <laughs> The stupid thing was Wait that... a minute, how come you didn't notice? Well, I put them on without putting the light on. And because they're similar styles, I hadn't even noticed. Oh. The stupid thing was, I didn't have time to go back home, and I had to wear different coloured boots all day. Everyone in the office thought it was hilarious. <laughs> okay, that was the first track. Now I'll do the second track. Track 57. Two. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Uh, what I'm going to do today is first take a look at the first quarter sales figures and then move on to our marketing strategy for the coming months. Now, if you look at the first slide, you'll see uh, that... May I interrupt for a moment? Um, could you just draw the curtains because of the sun? Thank you. Uh, right, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, you'll see that we had a, a very satisfactory first quarter. Indeed, one of our best net quarterly profits in the last few years. Could, um, I, could I just say something here? Are, are you sure that... Sorry, if I could just finish? Mm -hmm. I wanted to say that this was actually our best quarterly performance for the last seven years. Um, in fact, I'd like to say something, if I may. I think... One that... moment. I'd just like to point out that international sales accounted for 64% of the quarter's revenue, and in fact... Hey, hey, excuse me for interrupting, but what I think the others were trying to say is that you seem to be showing the wrong figures. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, talk with your partners about um, who is speaking and what they're speaking about. You have one minute. Um, 
number 57. <laughs> Who's the main speaker? Uh, I think it was like a boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, so it was like a business meeting where they were speaking about numbers and stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now we're going to listen a second time to both recordings, and um, the sheet you'll fill out is about who interrupts mm -hmm. and um, why. So I'm sure you heard it the first time, but mm -hmm. you can write it down this time and listen carefully. Track 56. One. So, anyway, I was late for work and I was running down the street. Just a second, don't you usually cycle to work? Usually, yes, but my bike had a puncture. Anyway, as I was running, I noticed that people were smiling at me all the time, but I didn't think anything of it and I just <coughs> smiled back. And then I saw two people pointing at my boots. Hang on, didn't you think it was a bit odd that so many people were smiling at you? Well, yes, but I was in a rush, so I didn't think too much about it. <laughs> but then I looked down and noticed I'd got two different boots on, one brown and one black. <laughs> the stupid thing was Wait that... a minute, how come you didn't notice? Well, I put them on without putting the light on. And because they're similar styles, I hadn't even noticed. Uh -huh. The stupid thing was, I didn't have time to go back home, and I had to wear different coloured boots all day. Everyone in the office thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Track 57. Two. strategy for the coming months. Now, if you look at the first slide, you'll see um, that... May I interrupt for a moment? Um, could you just draw the curtains because of the sun? Thank you. Uh, right, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, you'll see that we had a, a very satisfactory first quarter. Indeed, one of our best net quarterly profits in the last few years. Hey, and I, could, could I just say something here? Are, are you sure that... Sorry, if I could just finish. I wanted to say that this was actually our best quarterly performance for the last seven years. Um, I, I'd like to say something, if I may. I think... One that... moment. I'd just like to point out that international sales accounted for 64% of the quarter's revenue, and in fact... Uh, excuse me for interrupting, but what I think the others were trying to say is that you seem to be showing the wrong figures. Ah. <laughs> okay. Talk with your partner about your answers. Have one minute.
Ready? Okay. Um, Ready? Okay, Lise, um, what do you think about number 56? Who interrupted? The girl. Hmm? The girl? The girl, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, why? Uh, she asked uh, the best shop. She no? asked? The best shop. The best shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, what do you say? Okay. No, just tell me. I mean, her noticed. Noticed or so. Mm -hmm. yeah. she, she, she hadn't noticed. Oh, if he had noticed. Mm -hmm. About his shoes. That I mean, uh, her noticed. So when the, the man was talking, um, why did she stop him? Why? Mm -hmm. mm, because she, I think she asked the best shop, no? The best shop. Yeah, for, for some pe many people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hello. Mm. Come on in. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, Anna, do you remember any other reasons why she, uh, she might have stopped him? First time she interrupts him because uh, he is usually cycling to work, mm -hmm. and this time he uh, ran, mm -hmm. and she usually disrupts him like just a second, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. it's very informal. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. It's informal. about like a report and saying our sales have been doing really well this year. Do you have any idea? Graphs. Graphs, okay, yeah. So figures can have graphs to represent um, different. When something rises and it's a rising sale, it would represent different numbers. Yeah. Here, I can give you guys um, So we're listening to, we just listened to an audio track with interrupting language. And after the class, I'll give you um, something to look at that has this, the script. Yeah. Okay. So would we say 57 was more formal or informal? The second recording. Formal. 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 Why? Because they... Uh, they said I would like to say something yeah. if I may to this um, you sure? interrupt you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why would this place be more formal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's work meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in work, should you be more serious than you are with your friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a good reason. Well, usually. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, so now, let's see, where is it? Now we're going to focus on a few phrases that are 
from the script, from the listening. And I would like for you to underline the phrases that interrupt, just the parts of these sentences that are interrupting. <coughs> And first, just look over it. And let me know if you have any questions about these words. And then you'll have five minutes to underline the interrupting parts of these sentences. Okay, check with your partners. Look at which part of the sentence you underline and confirm. So you can be a pair and a pair and then a pair. I have to go. Oh, you do. Okay, no worries, no worries. That's fine. <laughs>
did I just say something here?
We have modal plus Is it conjugated? Is it interrupted? Interrupting? No. 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 It's, so it's, it's yeah. It's present tense. It's the base verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we could say here besides interrupt? May I? At something. Add something, that's great, yeah. May I add something? May I tell something? What did you say? May I tell something? Tell something, okay. Say something. Uh huh, say. Okay, um, what about the form of just a second? Just. Just a second. Do we know what, what part of speech is just? Just. It's tricky, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything that we're missing from the beginning of this sentence? Something. We don't have a subject. What else do we need in the sentence? We need a subject and... Verb. A verb. So what kind of verb could we put here? Just a second. Give Just a second. Me. Give, me. give me. Okay, give. Give, give could go here. Have. Can I have? Just a second. Can I have? Yeah. So you don't have a verb here. It's understood that there's a verb here. So just give me or give me just. What is just? Describing or modifying. Mm -hmm. Just modifies. What did you say? You said yeah. It's just an adverb. 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 Yes. It's tricky. It's this is just a strange, tricky sentence. But it's what we say when we're talking, and we don't want to say the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We don't want to say, "Give me just a second." Just a second. No. So it's shortened. Okay, and second is the um, part of speech is time, and no. it's a noun, it's a noun. So it's a time noun. Okay, what about could I just say, say something? something? Do we see any similarities between may I interrupt and could I just say something? Medi, what is this? Word. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's a modal. It's a modal, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have modal plus. Plus subject. Mm -hmm. Plus adverb. Plus verb. Yep. Good job. And then um, Anna, what about I'd like to say something? Um, subject. Model. Mm -hmm. Verb to say to say to say to say to say so it's verb. It's a verb. It's a type of verb. So when we have to say mm -hmm. to say <laughs> to say I'd like to say something. It's an infinitive. Uh, and this type of modal is not the same as this type of modal. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know what type of modal it is? No. no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check because I wrote down. I don't want to tell you the wrong type of modal. Okay, this is the um, request modal. We oui? say request. request. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What kind of verb is this? 
weight or stuff or command or order. Order, it's an order, it's a command. Great, great. And um, a minute. But it is an ad, well, some people say article adjective, but it's an article. Yeah. Article? Okay. And minute? No. Um, yeah. Okay, um, excuse me for interrupting. Layla. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse, what kind of verb is that? Excuse? No. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a verb. Is it similar? Yeah, it's, it's a verb. It's, it's like the interrupt. Mm -hmm. it is, it's actually like this verb. Oh, okay. If I tell you, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. It's a command. Mm -hmm. But it is polite. Okay. Okay, command plus. Subject. Subject. Layla. Mm -hmm. Sub plus subject. A subject. Mm, Who is doing the action? Me. Who is excusing? If you tell me to excuse you. Me. Excuse. Me. You? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So. So you is the subject. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. <laughs> excuse what? Me. Mm -hmm. So me is <laughs> it is the object, the direct object, object. object. yes. So I write D O. Can't say when you say object. What? And you say object, direct object. Excuse who? Excuse what? Excuse me. Or excuse him. Mm -hmm. Or excuse. Okay. He's receiving the action. Or Layla receives the action if I excuse her. Okay. Um, for interrupting. Interrupting is good. It is, but it's in a different form. I'm What's either. for? Gerundium. What did you say? Gerundium. Yes, it's a gerund. Great. So what's for? Gerund. Gerund is with ing. It's when ing when it is acting like a noun. It's a verb acting like a noun. That's a tricky word, but I'll write it there. Okay. Um, and four is, what part of speech is four? Preposition. Preposition, great. Okay, hang on. And may I interrupt? It's formal. It's formal. So excuse me is kind of it's between, between kind of neutral. Yeah. Okay. Um, Layla, what about wait a minute? Is that formal, informal, or neutral? 
for me it's not so it's not true. Do you think it's neutral? It's informal. It's informal. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's informal. It's okay, it's okay. No, no worries, no worries. Stop drinking. Okay, Petra, what about number four? Is that informal? I'd like to say something. That's formal. Betty, I asked Petra. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Anna, what about three? Could, Could I just, just say, say something? something? It's neutral. And about just a second, Betty. Informal. It's informal. Informal. Why? Second. We can add something. Before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but to make it add? formal. Good. Like, could you please give me just a second? Yeah, good. It's cool. You can but turn when you it just have, formal. If you have just a second. Just a second is informal. It's too short to be exactly. formal. Point. Yeah, because and hang on as well. It's, yeah. informal. it's shorter, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah. Mm-hmm. So informal tends to be long or short? Short, uh, short. Informal, it's Formal short. short. Mm-hmm. Formal, it's Formal. long. Okay, and what kind of verbs do we have on the informal? Do we have the modal? No, we have, no, we have request the request modal. Command, do we have command? command. We have more commands no, no, no. on the informal. Yeah. Right, great. Command. Command. So, I'll just write that here. Informal. Short. And informal is also. Mm-hmm. And then what about when it's formal? It's long. Longer, yeah. Generally. Modal. Modal. Maybe even better than saying short, you could say shortened. Mm-hmm. Short? Shortened. 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 Mm-hmm. Like we leave out the, um, the verb. Okay, and then longer and formal is formal. Modal. So they have the, the modal, modal uh-huh. of request. Mm-hmm. Request or permission. Okay. These are general, just general. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so when we interrupt someone, what do we want them to do? Do we want them to keep talking? No. No. Listen to you. Stop. So stop it means stop, talking. yeah. And um, when it's formal, is that a nice way to do it? When it's formal, if I say, um, may I interrupt? Yeah. Is that polite? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And if I say, hang on, is that polite? No. Yeah. Yeah. So it can be polite or informal. It, it could be a lot of things, so just depending on formality. Mm-hmm. Can be food as well. Food. It can be food. I heard food. food. <laughs> it can be food. <laughs> That's very true. Yes. It can be food. <laughs> Examples mm-hmm. as ways to create conversation. Okay. Um, so the first speaking activity is you work in pairs mm-hmm. and you use these phrases um, from the language focus, what we did when we listened, the phrases from that, um, to tell a funny story to your friend if you're B, and then if you're A, if you're the other one, you will be interrupting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, we can have two interrupters this time. Yes, right. So you can be B and you can be the interrupters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'll be fun for Carlos. <laughs> and then you can be B and then you can be A. You can okay. be the interrupter. Okay. 
Let me know if you have any questions. And you will have um, five minutes to do this. Wait a second, you didn't <laughs> run? You all did? I did. You didn't run for the pizza? Really? And he picked that up. Oh. <laughs> my boss told Just me, a second. you need what to kind give of me mirth? the pizza right now, because you are drained. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your boss was there? Okay. Yeah, he was and there. So yeah. He was so eating all the food? Yeah. No, he was eating just the fish. Oh, the fish. Oh, the fish. Oh, the fish. They asked me for food. Mm -hmm. They are not eating. 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 They are not told this story will be, well, the only person who told the story, <laughs> Carlos will be an interrupter. Okay. And Anna will tell an embarrassing story. Okay. Okay, you switch. Okay. Okay. Again, you have to be good interrupters. And um, switch your roles, okay? <laughs> okay, you have three minutes for this conversation. Fucking <laughs> story. And practice using these interrupters. Once again. Just a story. did that. Excuse me. Hey, turn on this one. Stop. Please. Yeah. Shandy. Not Shandy. 
Somebody called you. I have to be said this. Who was informal in your story? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you hold me. <laughs> <laughs> you hold me. Wait, wait. You Test. We didn't know that we had to do the test. It was in front of the French. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. So, 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 <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so we have a problem with them 
for the second one. Yeah. My boss lives yes. in Shambly. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. This? No. No. Yes. No, it's okay. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. He lives. Okay. And how do we say this word? In the. In the. In the. What did you say? In the. Article. And no, it's not the no. Shambly. No. No, Chambly but it is, is Chambly. 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 It's a it's a neighborhood or a city. Yeah. Yeah. Chambly. Chambly. Okay. Um, so do we agree there's no error? Chambly. <laughs> there's no error. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I interrupt him? Is there an error? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. It's correct. No. It's correct.